Hey guys, this is for Aquarius. Um, my name is Crystal. I'm just going to be doing an oracle and tarot reading. Um, we're going to do past, present, and future. Then I'm going to do some action and advice for you guys. Alright, so. One second. Sorry about that. Okay, so. I'm just pulling the cards now and then I'm going to get into um, everything, okay? Alright. So in the past, the win-win outcome is forecast. So in the past, something was working out for you. Okay. In the past, you have four of cups and four of pentacles. Definitely um, a win-win outcome is forecast. Okay, I feel like um, since it says is forecast, it was like uh, whatever you were feeling stuck to and whatever you, whatever you were feeling like um, holding on to, you could have been holding on to or you could have been feeling stuck to something. But um, it was like, you know, things were about to start working out for you with the win-win outcome is forecast. It just means things are going to get better for you, all right? So if you're still in that stuck situation, just know it's going to get better for you, okay? Let's see what, what are you guys stuck in. Well, I've seen the Ten of Wands, so I'm just going to say you're, you're feeling stuck in some type of situation that you're doing all the work in. It's like, it's almost the end. The Ten of Wands is the end and a beginning and a new beginning. So I feel like whatever you are feeling stuck to is like you were putting in all the effort, all the work. It could be in work. It could be in love. It could be in, in friendships, families, whatever, you know, anything. And whatever situation, you were doing too much, right? And you were feeling stuck and trapped, just feeling like, you know, nothing was ever going to end. But it's like all your hard work is going to be paying off with the win-win outcome is forecast, okay? In your present time, you have adjustments are required. So whatever is going on around you, it's like little, you know, some things may need to be fixed or some things may need to be switched up a little bit in order to get it to where you want it to be. You have the, the Hierophant, the Five of Cups, and the Three of Cups. I do see that this is an emotional journey for you, whatever this is. I don't know if you're working on leaving something behind or feeling like you're leaving something behind or lost something or someone, right? Could have lost a job, could have lost somebody like that was important to you, could have broke up with, you know, in a relationship. It was like whatever you was doing, you was putting all the work in, it was leading you to sadness, but then you have happiness too, okay? And it can also mean if it was a relationship, it could also mean that maybe somebody was a little bit too much into your relationship and shouldn't have been like a third party. It doesn't mean cheating, but it could also mean that somebody was putting in a lot of input when they shouldn't have. So like kind of like nosy people or something like that. The Hierophant tells me that, you know, this is just saying that either you needed, um, you need to go to somebody for some like sub type of help or some type of guidance or something like this. Um, this can also say that this is within a marriage, okay? Something that you're really committed to, all right? And this can also say that you need to listen to your intuition about the situation. Yes, it's, it's, it's sad leaving something behind, but it's also happy times with the Three of Cups, so there's sadness, but happy times. So it's like if you are leaving a job or a relationship, it's like maybe it's just something that you, you someone that you love or something that you love that it's going to be hard to kind of let go of, but, you know, it's going to bring happiness also. You know what I mean? It's going to open new doors for you. Um, for the future, you have luck is on your side, okay? So it's like do not give up. Then you have Libra, Sagittarius. I don't know if you're dealing with one of those or, you know, something like that. But for the future, you do have the Nine of Swords, but you have the Strength card as well. So it's like luck is on your side. So you may be feeling not so lucky, stressed out that things are not working out for you, worried that things are not going to work out for you in the future, right? But the strength card is just telling you that you are mentally strong enough in order to get yourself out of this situation. What are you stressing over? Being single, stressing over being alone. Um, all right. But, you know, in the future, the Empress tells me that you are going to be on top of things, especially with the strength card. It's like you're going to be overcoming things. Yeah, magician, getting yourself out of things. Like, you know what I mean? Manifesting something better. Okay. All right, so your future is like you got a lot a lot of good things going for you. Just don't allow that stress and anxiety to kind of like, you know, stop you in your tracks. Don't allow that to be more, you know, don't allow that to control you. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> for the future, you have the devil. This is just saying, you know what I mean? I feel like you're going to be totally open with people anymore. You're not going to be hiding like the way you feel. I feel like you're going to be way more stronger, way more, you know, 
in tune with yourself, getting your power back, okay? It's like maybe I feel like you lost a lot of your power or you feel like you've lost it because maybe you were stuck in some type of situation for so long, right? But it's like with the devil card, I feel like you're getting your power back. You're going to be in control now, okay? It says don't let your past hold you back. I didn't even see that. That's actions and advice, all right? Don't let your past hold you back. Get control of your life again. You know, stop allowing things to make you feel stuck. All right, people, situation, things, whatever it is, anxiety, just negative thoughts, you know, not believing in yourself, you know what I mean, stuff like that. Then you have the hermit card. You need to dig deep, okay? You need to dig deep within yourself and, and try to find, you know, the answers within you because all the answers that you need are within you, okay? So it's like you need healing, big time healing. This is a time where you need to stay away from people, places, and things. Concentrate on yourself and work on yourself and work on your healing, okay, and, and really pay attention and decide what you really want in your life, you know what I mean, you have choices, so it's like go for the best thing, you know what I mean, go for what you want, don't, don't stay with whatever's like dragging you down and you're doing all the work, you're being used, you know what I mean, walked all over on, this is also saying that, you know what I mean, um, don't allow things to just stand still, stagnation, <clears throat> move, you know what I mean, do things to like get yourself moving, um, if you're feeling bad for people or whatever situation that you're in, it's like maybe that's why you're not leaving or whatever, it's like don't feel bad for them, worry about you, you know what I mean, on the bottom of the deck you got the queen of cups, you are emotionally cut off from somebody, right, and um, I do feel like you will be on top, you will have, you know, your power back, you got a couple strong cards for you over here, and you know, things will get better for you, let's see for the far future and then I'm gonna pull some of these cards over here too you have the world the ending of a um cycle <laughs> the ending of a cycle and the beginning of a new one and it's success okay it's like you know all your hard work is paying off all your hard work is paying off you're doing all the work that needs to be done you know what I mean and it's you know it's gonna bring balance back into your life you know what I mean it's gonna bring you know Lots and lots of abundance, happiness, balance, you know what I mean? Just take things step by step, do things in moderation. Try not to rush it, but also don't stay stuck. If you if there's a way that you can get out of whatever you're getting you're in, or maybe you just got out of whatever that you were in, it's like, you know what I mean? You can get yourself out. You just have to believe in that. That's all. Um, that's what I got for you guys. If you guys like my content, please like and subscribe. And toodles, thank you. Bye.